Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about measures of location. We basically have two measures of location, and even that, they're both pretty much the same thing. The first measure of location that we'll talk about is what we call percentile. I'm sure that you're all familiar with percentile. Percentile, for example, would be when you take your college boards and you get your college boards back and it tells you which score you got and then it will also give a percentile rank. That means what percentage of the people scored below you. So in other words if somebody scores in the 85th percentile that basically means that 85 percent of those taking the test scored below you. But then again, it also means that 15% of those that took the test scored above you. Anyway, the other measure of location is something that we call quartile, the quartile rank. It's basically the same as percentile rank, only we're using specific percentiles. For example, we'll use the first quarter, meaning the 25th percentile, second quarter, meaning the 50th percentile and the third per, the third quartile which is uh, the 75th percentile. How do we go about doing this? Let's just say I want to find the 70th percentile. There's no reason why I'm choosing that just I just feel like finding what the 70th percentile is. Okay, just labeling that cell and I'll find the 70th in here. Basically, this is the same as everything else. You just have to know which function to use. So here we'll say equals, like we do with every other function, and we'll start typing per, up oh, there we go, percentile. It's expecting an array and a K. I'll explain what that is in just a minute. But the first thing is something that you should be used to doing already. It's asking for the range of cells. So I'm going to click down on my mouse in cell C3, which is where the first data value is. Hold the mouse down and voila, it shows me C3 through cell 311. Put a comma. Now K is basically a percent that's converted into decimal. In other words, if I want to find the if I wanted to find the 85th percentile, that would be 0.85. So since this is the 70th percentile, we'll put 0.7 for K. Close my parenthesis and hit enter. Okay. So what that's saying is that the number 37.4, which is not one of our data values, but that doesn't matter. There's a formula for this in your book on how to find percentile. But basically what it means is that 37.4 is the 70th percentile, meaning that if somebody scored a 37.4, that 70% of those would score beneath that. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now let's talk about quartiles. Again, this is just like any of the other functions that we've used so far. You just have to know what function to use. So over here, I'm going to put an abbreviation. We'll say Q1 for the first quartile. And you know what? We'll do Q2 for the second one meaning the um, 50th percentile is Q, the same as Q2, and we'll say Q3 for the third quartile or the 75th percentile. Now keep in mind there really is no Q4. Q4 would be the same as the max value, which we have over here, as 56. Alrighty then, let's go on. Again, we start with the 
equals, start typing in quarta, oh, there it shows it to me. We'll click on it. The array that it wants, we'll just highlight these, or again, you could type in C3 colon C11 for this particular data set, comma, and it's just asking for which quartile. So since we're looking for Q1, I'll just type in the number 1 and hit enter. And it's saying that the number 25 is in the first quartile. Now, 25 is all the way up here. But if you keep in mind that this data that I have here is not ordered or anything, then it would make sense to you if you did put it in order. In fact, maybe we should do that. I'm going to just highlight these cells, no formula or anything like that. And I'm going to sort these values. In Microsoft Excel 2007, we have this function that will sort the values that I've highlighted. And it can go either in descending or ascending, meaning it could go from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So let's click on it and see what the setting is. I think this is set on ascending, meaning from smallest to largest. OK, well, here, <laughs> I'm not used to using this function in, in 2007. It says right here, sort smallest to largest, largest to smallest, or some sort of custom sort. So let's do smallest to largest. And there it did it. And it's showing 25 here, as in the um, first quartile. Now, let's talk about the second quartile. What do you think we have to do? That's right. <laughs> we say equals quartile. Okay, get the range of cells. Put a comma. And then um, we put two for second quartile or the 50th percentile. Enter. Okay, so the number 26 is in the 50th percentile. With small data sets, that's hard to maybe see, but um, usually the second quartile will be the same as your median. If it's not the same, it's going to be pretty close to your median. Let's find the third quartile equals quartile. And we'll get our array here, comma, 3 and hit enter. So Q3 is the number 41 and again that makes sense to me um, and by if you start using the formula that's shown in your book you'll see that that will also make sense to you. I'm just going to dress this up a little bit by putting um, borders around the cell so we know what we're doing here. Actually let's just do it this way. Okay. Okay, and that's basically it as far as measures of location.